guys, Matt from BBO. I am here to review the Moultrie Mobile Cellular Edge Trail Camera. I'm pretty excited to do this review in that it looks like this trail camera is going to solve two problems for me. Number one, the issue of having way too many SD cards. And number two, the issue of storing way too many pictures. So let's take a quick look at this product and see if this is going to meet our need. The first thing you'll notice during the unboxing process is the relatively small size of the camera. For all the features that are packed into it, the footprint is about the same as your average trail camera today. The other thing that immediately catches your eye is the integrated antenna. No more snapping off antennas while carrying around trail cameras in my backpack. From a power management standpoint, you can use either 8 or 16 AA batteries. The instructions state that lithium ion works best and explicitly state not to use rechargeables. I only had some alkalines lying around so we'll see how they do in a pinch. As advertised, setup was super easy. All you have to do is power the camera on and wait for it to acquire a signal. After that, let the camera do its job. We even managed to have a couple of visitors come in the first night and it looks like the nighttime video is pretty good quality. The Moultrie app is pretty easy to use and the plans aren't too terribly expensive starting off at about 10 bucks a month. Like I said earlier though, the biggest features of this particular camera are the built-in internal memory, eliminating the need for SD cards, and the cloud storage. This camera has the potential to make scouting fun again. So as you can see, those are the basic features of the trail camera. I think that uh, my only real concern is going to be battery life, and we'll see how that goes. The instructions say not to use rechargeable batteries. Uh, it also says stick with lithium. Uh, I put some alkaline batteries in there. They only lasted a couple of days, so we'll see where uh, that goes. But um, I'll post some additional comments if you want to keep an eye on this review and uh, plan on putting out quite a few others. So I uh, wouldn't, wouldn't mind it if you'd subscribe to the channel. I think you'll like some of the content that we have coming over the next 12 months here on into turkey season and then hopefully 2024 whitetail season as well. So don't forget, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and keep stepping right outside your back door.